last few months, I've been writing love letters and creating short films about the people and places that make New York City so special. New York City? New York City is the capital of the world. We're playing for the world. One New Yorker's daily feeding of three generations of furry friends. One immigrant's first day in this city as he searches for a fresh start. And the celebration of another's realization of this dream decades later. I just scream in the street. I go like, New York, the city that I love. You know, people might call me crazy, but I'm, I'm happy, and that's what counts. Innovators who turn New York City trash into products. I'm just incredibly grateful for the opportunity to now bring my classroom to life and really walk the walk. Photographers who transform puddles into photographed phenomena. A puddle sometimes is somebody cleaning the street, and you never know which it is, and that, that's that's magic and that's beauty. I guess, I guess it's because I always want to be somebody's hero. That's the kind of core to do. <laughs> Youth paving a road of self-confidence for their neighbors. Pioneers of legal incubators for human rights showing young lawyers the way. Mobile soup kitchens with eight years of ongoing aid to the community. We are a vegan food justice organization, and we make veganism accessible to communities in need. A dancer who left all she knew out west to move east. An entrepreneur who is nourishing her community with Caribbean spice uptown. And a businessman who built a bookstore and podcast studio on the same Lower East Side block where his grandfather started their family business after escaping the Holocaust refugee camps 50 years ago. Hopefully all of that, you know, is a way to sort of say thank you to New York for giving us a chance. For all of you who believe in hope, the power of storytelling, and the infinite possibilities available to us in this lifetime, may this body of work inspire you as much as it has me. Thank you for joining us on this journey. 